presenting Love Uber Eats, a platform to donate essential items to those in need. Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today it's going to be a musical extravaganza because we have some very talented people taking over the show. Hi, my name is Lydia. And I'm Naomi. And, and we, we are, are here, here to go on a date with Danu. I'm Pilanka Jamana and I'm a musician and a music curator as well. I play the flute, the saxophone and I sing a bit as well. So we're excited to be here on Date with Danu. Uh, I've watched the show before and I'm really excited to hear his very infectious laugh. So I actually met Danu at one of my first gigs and events about maybe about 12 years ago. Um, and let me say he's much larger than life now. I'm really looking forward to this interview with Danu but I'm also a little nervous because I have no idea what he's going to ask us. I'm a little worried. Please be good to us Danu. <laughs> Welcome to the show and we have these amazing people here. We have Nay. Yes, hi. But it has been shortened. It's actually Naomi. But Nay. Yes. I like Nay. Nay. And we have Lydia here. Hi. <laughs> and Lydia's uh, husband. <laughs> Dilanka. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, hi. Why did you get all serious? I'm a serious guy. Really? Because I need to be. <laughs> or should I not be? Don't be. What okay. is this? Good. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, this is a fun <laughs> show. Please bring out the clown in you a little bit at least. Brilliant. So you would have seen all of all three of these faces performing. We actually have one more person joining us on the show. Um, so uh, Tilanka was very particular about the people who he was going to get on the show. <laughs> you know why then. <laughs> if, he has not, if he has not recommended you, you know what he means, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> No. This is how we set. <laughs> this is how we set the record straight. Okay, let me start with the two of you. So you are a violinist and you are a flautist. No, I'm the Flo violinist. Violinist, yes, flautist. And he's the flautist. flautist. Yes. You I play, play the, the sax also. No? You I play, play sax. Sax, also. sax. That too. Only. <laughs> 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 right, right. Fine. I didn't ask. Oh I, did I? Did <laughs> no, I ask no, Lydia no, whether no. it was with anybody else? <laughs> no, no. No. Exactly. So how did you all meet while he was blowing um, his yes. flute? Actually, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was actually music that brought us together. Aww. Yes. And uh, uh, we had an event to play for together and we, he insisted on practicing like... Uh, A hundred times. Yes. Mm. Like I, I kept telling him like one practice is more than enough. And yeah. he's like, no, no, we should That's meet up again. That's because you're good at what you do. Yeah, he's like, we should meet up again to practice. Are you saying I'm not good at no. what I do? <laughs> But it's yeah, it was fair. music that brought us together <laughs> and I'm so glad that it did because... And how, how yes. long ago was this? 2016? January, I can't remember. January 16, 2016. Oh, that's when you <laughs> started to practice. Yes, that oh, was the first cute. day we met. And who asked who out? She. Hey, don't be like that. It was a mutual thing. No, it, it, yeah, it is a mutual thing. We no, both but agreed. I did. He, he yeah, asked I did. He asked okay. me out, but okay. we both agreed that. Yeah, at least you knew his talent. Yeah. <laughs> the laugh. The laugh. Now that he's he also playing it. a sax saxophone. Sax. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me other things that you do. So, um, recently got into a bit of singing as well. And uh, so I had this um, venture which is into music curation for venues and stuff. So, mm. we partnered up with some of the five star hotels actually in Columbus as well and that's been good and gives me a certain sense of satisfaction when I can give people an opportunity to perform so yeah so when you say music actually. curation does it also come when it comes to the whole music the lobby music the music that you hear when you get into a lift not no not you should that. really consider all of that yeah, because there, there should be some live music in the lift, right? No, not live music, some pleasant music but in the lift. But think outside the box, Dano. I mean, having a violinist inside the lift could work. 
That's a bit much. That's a bit too much. <laughs> really? Yeah. You sit and blow your big <laughs> weight if you want to be there. But I don't think anybody else wants <laughs> can't. A claustrophobic as well. But you can create when you say curating music, I think you should curate for the whole hotel. You should mm. explain that next time. Yeah. Yeah. See Thanks another idea I've given you. A tip worth money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nay. Yes. Nay, I actually um, had the pleasure of seeing her perform for the first time, actually, okay. at a cocktail I went for. Yeah. And she was amazing. And I tell me one thing I want to ask you. When you perform at a cocktail and people are jabbering away, yes. do you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> I know. Sometimes it feels like people are not paying attention. But like I do see subtle toe taps and head bobs. That helps. And also okay. it helps when you're enjoying the music yourself, you know. Right. So. Yeah. But, but do you feel like, you know, people should... But you can't expect them at an event, right? Because they're I supposed know, to like... That's the nature of the event, right? Yeah. It's not like they're coming to watch me sing particularly. Yeah. So, so you just yeah. keep it... I keep it going. Right. That's, yeah. Brilliant. Now, Ney is someone who makes waves on social media as well. We're going to be talking about that as well when we do get on with it. How are you all with social media? Um, we're okay. All right. We're all right. Not too hardcore, but we should get into it more. Yeah. Do yeah. the both of y'all have one account? Yeah, we do have yeah. a page for ourselves. It right. says Blute. Because what? Blute. Violin Not and Not Blute. Flute. Blute. So Blute. Right, yeah. yeah. That was you all glued for lack it of together. Creativity, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you all have your own individual as well. Yes, we do. Brilliant. All right, we are going to be speaking more, but right now we need to ask them some terrible questions. That's what this show is all about. And they win something as well with your hot seat questions. Welcome back to the show. So one of them will walk away with a gift pack from Crystal Luxury Wellness. Are you guys ready? Yes. Make sure your answer is uh, nay. <laughs> <laughs> swag, 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 swag. swag. Okay, All right, here we go. First question. All of you will have to answer. Okay. Normally, I ask questions specifically to a person. Yeah. But here, I thought I'll ask general questions where three of you will give you three answers. Okay. Sandra David, Mena Kadifonse, Kasahabang. Who's your favorite out of the two? Um, I would have to say Auntie Menaka because we play in orchestra together and she's been my desk partner for quite a few concerts, so Auntie Menaka for sure. <laughs> so, um, probably Auntie Menaka, probably, yeah. I'm going to say Soundari. Right. Yeah. If you have to get a choir to represent Sri Lanka, who would you pick out of the following and who would you not? Soul Sounds, Voice Print, Ashanti's School of Music Choir, Umara's Choir. Mm. Mm. Ah, tough one. I really like Voice Print, but also I love Umara's one as well. I'm going to say Voice Print for this one. Mm. Oh, Marjorie probably Soul Sounds. Yeah, for me it's also between Voice Print and Soul Sounds, but. Uh, I would say both, like, can I? No, I can't. I can't say both. Okay. okay. Collab. Um, <laughs> I would have to say soul sound. So, Telanka, yeah. that means you're saying that Ashanti, uh, Mara, and <laughs> voice print are not doing a great job. It's fine. Of course. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's not what he means. He's <laughs> kidding. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we lost four gigs there. He's <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Guys. A solar voice, in your opinion, that stands out for a night of entertainment. Romain Willis, Q, Natasha Ratnayaka. I would probably go for Q. I'm going to say Romain. Yeah, I would say Romain is like perfect for like a show, like for like Can't, a spot performance show. And I think Frank is more chilled out and laid back. So, um, I Are you saying Q? Q? <laughs> 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 Sorry to explain myself. <laughs> Uh, if you could trade your talent for another talent, what would you <coughs> trade it for? I wish I could uh, be a dog whisperer. Like, like I love that. That is so good. <laughs> cool. I feel, why do you have this answer ready? <laughs> I really didn't. Dog whisperer. Dog whisperer. Um, I wish I could run really fast. I don't know why. I don't know how that's even useful. But like, I can't run at all. So maybe that's why. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I, I'm lost of words. I can't think of anything. 
You think you're perfect. That's what's yeah. up. Oh, no. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to switch it for the world. <laughs> if someone had to sing, my heart will go on. Oh, no. Whose voice will sail the ship <laughs> and whose voice will sink <laughs> it? <laughs> Umara, Raini, Stephanie, Devashri. <laughs> You'll have to choose a sail and a sing. <laughs> Umara's voice would float it for me. Would float the yeah. boat. Okay, so float yeah, the yeah, boat. Same, yeah. You have got Umara. Mm. Yeah. Sinking it. <sighs> I'm going to say Stephanie. Okay, done. You. So float would be Umara. Yeah, and sink. Sink is Stephanie. For you? Awesome. Umara and Devashri would definitely float my boat. Um, but yeah, I would have to say Stephanie. Right. So Stephanie, diplomatic. don't ever get on a Titanic ship. <laughs> I know, because so, <laughs> so diplomatic. So diplomatic, correct. She's very diplomatic. Yeah. Politically. All right. Yeah. Who, in your opinion, puts up a good 31st night gig? Hmm. Misty, Shohan and the Experiments, Black Doctor. 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 I like Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. That was a quick answer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A person that you would <laughs> give an arm and a leg to perform with. Someone who you would never want to perform with. <laughs> to perform with possibly Umaria. Yeah. Not perform with? Dano. I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> well, you have sung it. for Greece. <coughs> That's what? a play. No, but you sang also. No? <laughs> no, but that was one of my favorite performances. Actually. Of course, I was... I kept the play together. <laughs> uh, um, I would say locally I would want to perform with Jerome Spelderwind and then not perform with, I don't know, maybe like Sidhue Sakura or something. Like, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Diplomacy? Um, I would... <laughs> okay, I guess I would really like to perform with some... Um, like someone oh. like Rohan De Silva or like someone in the classical world. I'm so sorry. I, 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 think, I, I think we need to go for One go to a break. I, later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't want to perform with. Uh, One lifetime later. Yeah, I, I, no one's coming to mind. After the Third World War, what is the answer? I have no answer. no answer. I'm so sorry. You have I lost failed. this game a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> when organizers or establishments invite you for a gig, how do they treat you, the talent, the artist? Rate one being great, ten being bad. Or, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You go first. Uh, again, depends on the event you know, but like I would say maybe like uh, <laughs> seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. One being great, right? Yeah. So they treat you really badly. No, it's ten. Ah, oh, yeah, one opposite. being great. Oh, okay, then like. Three and a half then. Done. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this honestly, I can't generalize, uh, but average, I would say about three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying three as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Congratulations, Ne. You are the winner. Thank because you, Because one, Daru. she was too diplomatic. He didn't answer. I'm sorry. You didn't so, answer for you. Yeah. That so congratulations. You are the lucky winner. We are getting into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Hi, I'm Shobhi Pereira. I'm a music uh, director, musician, and recording engineer. Um, and I'm here to go on a date with Danu. Danu is very bold whatever he does and also the fact that he highlights uh, local talent and musicians and you know works with the local community a lot I think that's great looking forward to the show welcome back to the show and we have Shobi joining us hi Shobi hi Danu nice to be on your show thank you for inviting me <laughs> thank you all <laughs> so have all of you worked with Shobi yes. 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 yes yes they've all gone through Shobi's <laughs> Music. <laughs> we work Shobhi, together a lot. Uh, Shobhi, you have seen many artists come and go over the years. Yes. Uh, but it's so hard to have English music to survive in it. It's such a curated market and it's just getting smaller day by smaller. day. Smaller, that's true. Especially with the current situation around the world, basically. Yeah. It's and also small. the whole 
Sorry if I sound a bit snobbish. That whole pretentious look that people had. Oh, we all listen to English music. Uh, mm. We don't now. Of course, we, people are emba embracing singular music. Yes, they want to hear it, and it's a nice touch. So by that, like the 70s, the 80s had such a big bang for artists. That's correct. Which yeah. is now missing. Why do you think these changes are? I think uh, the fact that people can, you know have access to concerts and so many performances on social media, on internet. They would actually need to go and see a band so as to speak to listen to some artists. So you have to, you've got to do your own thing and sort of uh, you know, change the music around and I think diversify into different genres. I, I for one, I have played Tamil music, Sinhala music, Hindi music and I love any genre of mm. music. And you've got to enjoy it. So Correct. diversifying and having a uh, vast uh, repertoire of music helps to keep the workflow bigger. Shobi, how have you worked with, have you worked with the three of them? Yes, very much. Where? Like who have you worked the most with? I think with uh, Lydia. Yeah. Because they were, I knew them as uh, school kids at Holy Family Convent, Bambal Peter. And oh. so herself and Melissa started performing with me uh, right. for gigs and it was quite a hit. And then I got to know Tilanka, worked with him. Naomi of course joined us at the present uh, lineup playing the club three nights a week so I think I've played uh, most with uh, Lydia. Uh, Shobi's daughter and I acted together. Daniel, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we are talking about a bit of an age gap here. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, <my general> <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. All right. Uh, now, Thank you Daru. <laughs> no worries, no worries. You, you look very young so it's okay. If I, if I had not mentioned <laughs> that, it would have been a problem. That's why. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. He's young uh, at heart. Definitely. Um, now, in terms of uh, nay, in terms of the music that you choose, the identity that you wanted to create, and also it, it comes to a point where now it's actually more than the voice, it's the personality and what you can deliver on stage. Yeah. That's what people are looking out for. Uh, tell me about how did you find your style? Um, as you said, it's very much about the performance, even more than like it's your energy on stage and everything like that. I think uh, where I started to find myself was really when I started singing with Shobi and them because I was getting a lot more Sport. practice. Yeah, I think like I was on more nights of the week and then so I kind of found how I came out of my shell in a sense because before I used to only play piano and sing. So you're kind of behind this block mm. and then and it's your safe zone. Yeah, and then suddenly you're in front of people and you don't know what to do with your hands. So you have mm. to figure it out, you know. So uh, yeah, I think I'm kind of coming into my own space now. Now is when I'm like figuring it out for myself and it's pretty interesting. Brilliant. Now the two of you, okay, if you all have not found each other, this brand might have still worked or not. Um, I would say yes for sure because like musically all the musically connected. yes yeah. like I think from from day one like we knew that there was something special there uh, put aside like everything else yeah. um, and also because we both come from a classical music background like we have that foundation mm. so it's easier for us to sort of transition to it was easy for us to transition into like you know jazz and the other repertoire uh, I mean other kinds of other mm. genres of music so. I would say definitely it would have definitely been yeah. something. Do you special. have practice at home, like every day? Not every day, no. but we do practice. Yeah. Yeah. When you all can you all just like you know <laughs> be like, y'all y'all are on sync so much, like y'all know each other's moves. When somebody needs to get a bit small breather. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, we we have. We can be honest with yeah. each other on stage as oh, well, yeah. right? So oh, that's yeah. true, true, like, true. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, that's and true. Like, oh, vice versa. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> And yeah. lyrics are never a problem, no? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know of so many artists who have sung Whitney Houston. I don't know what she wrote there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like, totally yeah. guilty of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, it has all gone down. I have to tell you a small thing to you uh, young and the old and everyone in between. <laughs> Just wanted to say Who's that. that? <laughs> Can you specify, please? Um, you know, I have to tell you, uh, if you are someone who is struggling to make transactions here and there and everywhere, I know your payments get delayed, right? People just really fudge on your payments. Don't they pay you on time? No. Yeah. So, uh, Just Pay is a feature that Lanka Pay has, mm. which allows you and gives you the freedom. You can tell your clients, get that and just transfer it without making life easy for me. 
making yeah. life hard for me and making life easy for them. Well, it's all with Lanka Pay and also they make your life easy by allowing you to make your transactions from any bank because you can withdraw with a peace of mind because Lanka Pay makes it happen possible. Thank you for joining us on Date with Danu. We are getting into Yes or No. And welcome back. Now, this game is made possible by our friends from Coke Zero. Thank you for joining us. You walk away with one of these amazing hampers. Uh, if, you know, I have the power to, like, make you lose and make me win. Uh, how this works is very simple. You love Coke Zero, right? Yeah, I yeah. Do it. So that's fine. That's cool. <laughs> uh, now, how it's going to work is the fact that we are going to make all of you answer a question. If you want to elaborate more on it, you can. Mm. On the answers, I mean. Yeah. Here we go. And sometimes you may think these questions are very basic. What is this Dano doing? But this is where we come to know the true personality of a person. Oh dear. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exciting. <laughs> Would you betray a friend for ten million dollars? I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very honest. <laughs> Would you compliment a competitor's work? Would you compliment someone who you feel is not good? but yet you feel like you should? No. Whoa. Okay, maybe yes. <laughs> I feel bad. If you, <laughs> I might compliment them on their looks or something. Oh, you look so good on yeah, stage. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind the sound. I love your shoes. Yeah. yeah. But don't ever sing. <laughs> <laughs> Omission. <laughs> if you could know what other people are really thinking about you, would you want to know that? No. Mm, no. No. It would sure. stress me out. Yes. Do you think would. there's more than one right answer to a question? No. Yes. If you could find out how you were going to die, would you like to know? <laughs> no. If I. How are you going to die? Yeah. yeah. Ah, no. No. Mm, no. If you could gain a magical power but lose the ability to sing or perform or play an instrument forever, would you do it? <laughs> Don't joke. What's What's the power? Power? What's the power? What's the power? No, I really want the magical power. Yeah, like that's one. Yeah, that's exactly. Become At a click, <laughs> we can do many things. <laughs> if you could time travel, would you travel back in time and unmeet certain people in your life? My God. <laughs> Yes. Not him, oh. not him, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put yes? I said yes. Yeah, yeah she I, said I, yes. I said yes, I said yes <laughs> with yeah. enthusiasm. Is there anything that makes you really angry? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever kissed someone of the same sex? What a question. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say just no, keep, but I might have. Just keep <laughs> <on the cheek. laughs> have you ever followed an embarrassing trend that you're ashamed of today? Yeah, probably. Like the ice bucket challenge? <laughs> <laughs> not sure actually. I don't know. Probably. Not. Probably, yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't know how to choose a winner. I'm just gonna give all of you a gift. Oh, Thank that's you. fabulous. Oh, nice. that. Thank you. But I'm only giving this box to her. Yeah, she don't know it's drinking it, so she yeah. serves it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a date of done. Presenting Love Uber Eats, a platform to donate essential items to those in need. I wanted to speak about a problem that we all tend to face in terms of booking talent and, and do people come with the right budget when they approach you? I'll start with you, Shobi. You've worked over the years with so many <coughs> bands and people and organizations. Do they always say cut corners, cut corners, cut corners? They generally do try to cut corners where the entertainment is concerned. But what I do is I curate the band to suit the budget. 
So basically, right. I ask them what their budget is, and I can go from anything from a three-piece up to a nine-piece or even twelve-piece, you know, ensemble. So mm. uh, that has worked for me and worked for the client as well. But I don't cut down on payments to the performers. I work backwards and work within the budget given, and still put up a good show depending on how many I can afford to have on put the together. performance. Yes. Naomi, how is it when you work as a solo artist? Solo artist, yes. Uh, generally, with solo stuff, it has been quite okay, I would say. You know, like if I say whatever my rate is and they can't afford me, then that's on you, you know, like, you know. And you always decline. Graciously. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, yes. But because it becomes a problem, right? When you agree to do at different prices, mm. uh, then it's very hard. You can't. And also, mm. it kind of, if I. This works for bands as well. If I play for very low, it screws up someone, another band's chance of having a good income or like quoting their own rate. You know, it all it, goes down. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. you have to be like a little bit mindful of that. Correct. But there are people who do that and it sort of yes. cripples you all as well because sometimes they just want a singer. They don't care who mm. the singer is. Exactly. So th then that tends to happen. But how is it for the two of you? Um, pretty much the same. That, uh, Who speaks that rates out of the two of you? I do. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you charge a good amount. I mean, what works. And then, uh, yeah, I also believe, like what Naomi said, you shouldn't undervalue yourself, definitely. Mm. So, you just need to um, stick to your guns and, uh, yeah. Yeah, like have a minimum. Yeah. yeah. Uh, collecting payments. Now, this is another problem that a lot of artists face. You know, we'll pay you after the event, we'll pay you in advance, we'll pay you day after. How does that work? Because after some time, it gets really tiring, right, to yeah. ask for the money they owe you, but it's taking many phone calls from your end. As for me, I don't confirm a booking until I get the 50% advance. And on my quotation, it clearly says that the balance has to be paid three days prior, if it's by check or in on cash the on the day of the event before performance. Right. And it's worked for me. Never and had nobody issue. has ever... No, never. And if, if there is a situation where they don't do that, what do you do? Well, I would obviously expose them. And I'll definitely get my money back somehow. <laughs> no one has done it to me, so I don't know how I'll okay. react. Yeah. But it doesn't happen to me, I must tell you. Not happened to us either. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. yeah, so far it's been, yeah. We are because my God. Actually, really handling your quotations and your correspondence very clearly is very important. That's something, that yeah. yeah. From Have everything I writing it from as well. Too. Thanks, yeah. That's something we all yeah. learn from show. Actually, everything yeah. from uh, the payments to the band table to the meals, yeah. all that has to be clearly indicated. The now, this band yeah. table has always been a bit of a problem. It's been a dicey yeah. too, like the photographer, the band, then the DJ. Like, where do they sit? Exactly. Do they get food at the wedding or yes. the dinner that you're playing for? Okay, start with, is it right for an artist to ask them to provide the food and the table? And should it be something that you don't need to ask? It's understood. No, I think you need to indicate to people who are new to the game or maybe a client who just booking you directly without going through an event person. They may not be aware of these this, uh, you know, issues that may come up. See, the band being close to the stage is very important. The moment the speech is over, you have to get on stage and start performing. So if you are seated outside the hall or you are in the lobby, how are you going to do that? Mm. You can't stand the whole night, you know, next to the band stand and just stand there. Then what about your meals? The, Event goes on from say 7 to 12 in the night. What do you do about your meals? Do you bring a sandwich from home and open a bath pack at any door? So those are things that have to be seen too. It's just a, you know, just a very practical thing mm. to do to yeah. indicate that you don't need but to But there are people things. who tend to overlook that and... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. you have to sort it out before. If you feel that these people don't have the experience of handling events like this, you have to indicate to them that you need Not need assume that they know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Basically. Just right. sort it out beforehand. Just deviating from the topic, Naomi, are you single? Yes, I am single. That's also very End of story. Surely you're just, a <laughs> you're just a happily married man, aren't you? Yes, very happily married. Very good. We'll come back with our kinky question. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I wanted to ask, uh, you know, people here on the set were like, Vinanka, you're not talking. I know, I have that effect on people. You are just mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. Well put. Uh, <laughs> Lydia, is Sri Lanka good in bed? 
And he's a flautist, so um, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so, do you ever get tired with mouth? <laughs> mouth? Definitely Sorry? not. Mouth and fingers, never. No. My? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> you my are just... Lydia, you're one happy girl. <laughs> I am very lucky. No. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs> that was a kind of scary. Shobi, of course. No. Shobi, you have a grandchild as well? Yes. No way. Can't yeah. ask you this. You have you done everything tell, right huh? because you have, grown, <laughs> you have grown your tree very well. Oh, yes. Thank you. So I How do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you these guitarists. <laughs> <laughs> the older generation. I know. <laughs> you really hold on to those strings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, everything can sound so dirty if you yeah. really put it yeah. up. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Yeah. Especially both of us. So she yeah. bows. So uh, I can't. <laughs> she strokes and I blow. So. <laughs> and also you can the imagine. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so the Especially when there are like G strings involved. Oh, it's everything. So many so jokes for the both so of us. I know. Yeah. I know. She All plays right. the organ too, so. What does that mean? What does that come to Keyboard, exactly. keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. That's She's tame like, don't compared get too to carried away. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't Keep get too carried away. <laughs> yeah, I just have one question to ask all of you. If there's one thing that you could take from a fridge and add it to your room for a night of entertainment, what item would you take from the fridge? <laughs> from the fridge? Eggs. Eggs. Eggs? Oh, oh shit. But I think it is, yeah. You know, eggs and eggs. Oh That's God. a whole other kink. Is that, is that fun? <laughs> that sounds really kinky. Something you to try. I must make sure there are no eggs at home. For sure. Crack it on you. Why? But I'm nice to you. You said you're just... I know. Huh? You just said you're very happy. Sorry. I am just shocked. Well, I'm also really shocked something. and spotted about it now, Dano. <laughs> eggs. I figured the way you were sitting. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was about to hatch. <laughs> uh... Nick? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. They're still young. I know. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> I Chocolate think I know sauce. I know what his answer would be. What? Tinkiri. Yeah, yeah. Tinkiri. Tinkiri. He loves ah. Tinkiri. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. Don't waste your Tinkiri. <laughs> Just use uh, midnight diva. Thank you. We'll see you after. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I always believe that yeah. you know, church is a very personal thing. Yeah. Faith is very personal, mm. and I think it's yeah. what it what makes you happy, and that's yeah. what that's where you go. Yes, and that's what life is all about. So. Anyway, just wanted to ask you that. Yes. Uh, Shobi, over the years, you would have worked with all types of people in the industry. You would have, you know, had to deal with all types of dramas. Visually, or like, sorry, when you obviously know somebody's out there to sort of cut the name Shobi out of that, uh, what do you do? How do you meet them and greet them and deal with them? Well, I just... I just keep that in mind, but it doesn't really bother me or affect my work in but any way. But you have way. collaborated with so many people. You have played, I have seen you on stage many yeah. times. Uh, it hasn't really happened to me in such a big way. Maybe because people are trying to get into my shoes, maybe, yeah. which, is, which is understandable. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't it's know it's hard, but it's feel. understandable. But uh, I, as far as I know, I don't have any enemies or people who are sort of you know out to get me, so to speak. But I have lost bookings to lower quotations, that kind of thing, which is part of, you know, work and, you know, how, how the industry works. Mm. And see, I am thankfully, even right now, even through the pandemic, I have been able to pick and choose my work because I still have my studio, I do my jingles. In fact, uh, the dialogue signature tune is something I created. It's my signature mm. tune. So I still have work that I uh, do from my home studio. Mm. So. Even through the pandemic, I've had work, so I never had to sort of come down on my pricing or compromise on my <coughs> quality of musicians. Kalanka, you run a studio or studio <coughs> where you sort of have talent. Yeah, it's it's not a studio per se. It's uh, so it I had this. It's a space where you. It's a space. Yeah, it's yeah. more like a platform. So I had this uh, platform called Soundscope. Um, so it's been going well. It's been about three years, four years. And that's given me the opportunity to actually we've had concerts as well uh, in the past as well. We had one during the height of the pandemic, I would say, mm. but then there's a small lull where there's like a three month period, initial period. So we had a concert um, with Shobi, actually, Shobi, Lydia, at Bishop's College. Mm. So we've had some good achievements and now we've um, provided entertainment to some of the good hotels as well. So. Um, that's given me the opportunity, like, like I said at the start of the show, I love to get people involved and if I can create an opportunity of work or whatever, something I enjoy. So, um, yeah, that's what sounds good. But about in me. terms of talent management or supporting talent or promoting talent, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel everyone is on the same page in Sri Lanka? Do you feel people violate the talent? Do uh, they? I don't think everyone's on the same page through various experiences because like, because I came through the industry through Lydia, through Shobi, so I've got, I feel like I've got a good value system, but unfortunately, others may not have the same value system, so I don't know, I don't want to think it's, I don't want to think of myself as a nice guy, but yeah, so there are certain issues when it comes to that, then some people probably charge a little less or whatever, so yeah, various things. What do you think about Johani's achievement? Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing because I don't think, like, people say she's a one-hit wonder, but uh, she worked a lot to get there. So she built a lot of momentum that led to this point. So full credit to her. Yeah. So, yeah. If you get a chance to have her on your platform, what would you do differently? If I get a chance? Um, I would probably expose her to different musicians for her to work with in terms of Funk. I don't think she's worked with many funk musicians so far and just look at the various colors that she could actually generate um, through her voice or through her product because that's something I don't think she's uh, pursued yet and I don't think she's been exposed enough to. So like most of the musicians I work with, uh, I mean, um, are into funk and jazz and pop as well and personally uh, even though I initially played classical music uh, thanks to my teacher, Sureka as well, I'm not sure whether you know her. Um, she actually got me into funk and jazz and all of those things. Um, so, that's something probably that Johani should venture into. And at least try and give a different color to it. Yeah. Alright. Time for a break. Presenting Love, Uber Eats. A platform to donate essential items to those in need. So not all of them have given me full access. 
but I found a few pictures I want to know the story behind. Let me start with this picture. I wanted to ask you, Tilanka, you are a fan favorite? Fan favorite? I don't know. Perhaps, maybe. Have you ever felt abused, raped, objectified? <laughs> of course, I'm always objectified. I'm a good looking guy, no? <laughs> 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 Yay, that's a nice one. Can Sorry. I hand it after the show? <laughs> Did you pay them for it? No. <laughs> yeah. That was actually... Uh, Tell me. It's a long story behind. Actually, no, it's just a night out. <laughs> yeah, but when it was in the UK. But you have taken a picture to prove, no? <laughs> I, don't have know. I don't know who took that picture. I don't know. You, it's you, a selfie. It's, a selfie. it's not a selfie. It is. What is your hand doing there? It's like, uh, Such a selfie. No, no paparazzi. No. Uh, I don't know, it may be a selfie, I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, you Maybe. can have this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm giving these pictures to you all. Who is it? Tell me about it. I will not know, no? Huh? So those are my parents uh, with the two of us. Yeah. Lost my dad about three months ago. I know. Yeah. So that's a favorite photo of us, yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, what, what, this void must be so painful, mm. uh, but what has it taught you? Mm. Um, Parents are too a, special. Sorry? Parents are too special. Yeah. No, no, I would, yeah, there's, there's a deep reservoir of love that we all feel and that comes out when you lose them. That comes out even more when you lose them, so that's something you know you're, Capable of feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Definitely. <laughs> What's that? Who is That's that? That's me. That's not me, huh? actually. That is my one of my very close friends <laughs> called Ranika. <laughs> but she looks just like you. She does. Uh, a lot of people used to ask us if we're sisters back in the day. <laughs> and that's her ex boyfriend, <laughs> whose butt she's squeezing. Oh but Danu, come on. I didn't know it was you, but that, it was you. That's not me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so sweet. That's oh. my wife. Most amazing woman. I've been married to her for about 30 years now. She's so beautiful. She oh. is absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Thank you. Oh, that was me. <laughs> Who is it? The night you proposed. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I was in like... I was tears of joy or I was tears of... The <laughs> I couldn't hold back the tears. You knew no, that you wanted to marry him? Yeah, of course. The way it finally cool. happened, I was like, no, is it really happening? <laughs> You've really gone through. That's me, and such a uh, You are someone who has always promoted positive thinking, the way you look. <laughs> yes. Uh, how, why did you start doing that on social media? Um, well, I don't know. I just wanted to take pictures of myself. That's really how it started. So I would photograph myself, and then I had this platform called Instagram where I could post it. And then over the years, actually, I gained a following of women who were inspired i don't know you know they would be like have oh, you ever been ashamed of maybe if you feel like okay i feel like there's a bulge here bulge yes there. absolutely i still feel because my body is not perfect and then what media is telling us is like be perfect that's when you are beautiful but the truth is like you are more than enough the way you are exactly now and so that's my i don't know about inspiring other people or anything like that my goal is to love myself even on the you know and if I can't, that's the struggle. Mm. And there are days like that. So they always say there's more to hug. True, very true. Oh. Uh, this was uh, on the 14th of February, 2020, when I took oaths as a lawyer at the Supreme Court. Yeah, that's great <laughs> memory. Yeah, <laughs> Valentine's Day and all. Yeah, but you it know was actually something? two weeks after we got married. But you, you know, know, yeah. If you ever tried to pull a fast one, 
She will sue you so bad. I know. Yeah, he, he knows. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's very aware. Yeah. She's <laughs> Venus. Yeah. yeah. She will go through all the books. Been up. Have to be ready. Yeah. I have. I have to be a good husband. Yes. I oh. have to be. Yeah. No choice. Oh. No choice. <laughs> um, well, uh, having such talented people here, I can't let them go without giving us some entertainment. We have to like sort of. Uh, we are at sequel. It's a beautiful place, and we thought it just got a new look and feel. Uh, so we wanted to ask them to perform a little f for us as well on the show. But before we go, I have to say, um, I've always enjoyed the two of you as a pair. Uh, you used to always give me like attitude. No. Uh, you always did. No. Like, you know. <laughs> That's like a first No. That's yeah, a even, uh, There you go. Even he, you, he, like, had this, he had this no, impression no, no. of you. He, he had you a wrong impression like of me. <laughs> like an unapproachable face. But you, Lydia, Because you I'm very shy. I think. Yeah. I'm very shy, that's why. I said he's a nice guy. He's <laughs> but you can misunderstand him. Yeah, true. Really so at least show me a nice... We see eye to eye on this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because you're like... Oh, is it the hair? <laughs> Don't know. But anyway, one is of the two. The but I'm so happy the two of you found each other. Yes. Musically and in terms of love. Because I think you all had so much. Uh, and well done with all what you guys are doing. So Thank young you. and so full of uh, amazing potential. Um, I'm so happy that I met you, Ney, on the show. And um, I have followed your work. I was so proud to see you on a cover promoting yes. positive thinking. Um, I come from a place where, you know, I have always fought size. <laughs> no, my gosh, um, and, you know, it. it's like one of the first things that people say, like... I know, why? I know, uh, recently, somebody said, "Oh, I'm seeing you after so long, but you're so fat." <laughs> yeah, I, so. I know. Yeah. I think that's I know. my only response. Yeah. <laughs> I, nobody lets me grow into my real shape. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Shobi, Lovely thank today. you. Uh, I know. Uh, out of this, in this music world, Shobi is someone who everyone unanimously sort of agrees. Oh, Shobi. Oh, show me. Because, <laughs> oh, which, okay. which is a great thing, and you have performed with so many people, and that shows one thing that you are the good guy and that's why they want you. And uh, apart from talent, I think more than talent, it's, uh, it's the person that matters at times. Thank you, Shobi, for being on the show. Thank you, Danu. Uh, we need to wrap things up on Date with Danu. Thank you so much for tuning in to be a part of the show. We will see you once again with another cool episode. Till then, you keep smiling. <laughs>
That's where you 